Burn. Welcome to another episode of Game Time, presented this week by the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and NECA. I'm J.P. Murrieta, and this week we're at the Santa Ana Golf Club site of the 4A Preview and Lovington Golf Team and head coach Josh Bailey. Thanks for joining us this yes, week. Yes, sir, J.P. Thanks for having us. How's your team been playing this year? Uh, we're getting better. You know, we're playing a lot better. On the boys' side, I think we, we still haven't put together a round to our potential, and I, I think we will. And on the girls' side, I'm really proud of the way we're improving, constantly improving. This site is where the 4A state championship will be played. Yes, this event is called the 4A preview. What do you hope to get out of this event? Uh, well, first, I just hope we compete really hard, as, uh, play as hard as we can for as long as we can. And then I think if we just pick up a few nuggets um, um, throughout the course, course management, I think uh, it might make a difference come May 13th and 14th. Tell me a little bit about uh, some of the players you have this year. Besides them being a bunch of sharp dressers, what yes, kind of sir. players are they? Yeah, we like to look good. You know, you look good, you feel good, That's right. you play good. Uh, no, we, uh, we've got two uh, seniors on our team, one on each, one on each side. On the boys' side, we've got Levi Hebison. And on the girls' side, we got Bailey Jarrett, and they're doing a great job leading our team. And then uh, some of our younger players that are playing well are uh, Aubrey Williams and Bailey Alexander and uh, Ramon Orozco and Landon Trevino. How does this course suit your team as you prepare for the state championships? I think this course rewards uh, good play and smart play. Uh, I think that we're on the girls' side, we have great length off the tee, and that helps us. We're always going to have a chance to score, always, and uh, we go low. And on the boys' side, if we'll just play smart and uh, take our chances when they're there, I think I think we'll we'll play well. What is the key to a successful finish? Not only this week, but when state rolls around. To play confident. I think that uh, we have all the capability in the world to to do what we want to do. And uh, now, if we can just go play confident and do, you know, what we've set out to do from the very beginning of the year, um, it, and play with confidence. When they swing the club, I want them to believe it's going to be a good shot. And uh, I think that if we do that, we'll play well. As a coach, what do you work on with the team at this point? I, I still feel like we got a lot, lot of time. You know, we're three weeks away from that state championship, and so we look at every little part of our game and analyze it and try to work on it when we get back home. And uh, really, again, it comes down to confidence. At this point, uh, we want to be confident in our swing and our shot selection and just uh, who we are. It's been another successful year for Lovington. Yes, Football, sir. cheer, powerlifting, yes, hopefully golf as we get a little yes, bit sir. closer. How does one sport kind of translate or does it carry over to the other ones? Is winning contagious at Lovington like that? Yes, sir. It is. Absolutely. You, you learn how to win. And uh, we have state, champ state champions from this year on this team. Football players, cheerleaders, we have them on this team. And, uh, and so I think that it, it is always contagious. They, the community supports us more when we're winning. And uh, our, I want our people on this team who have won, I want them to kind of rub off on the others. It's a great feeling, and I, I hope we can achieve that. And lastly, the weather's gorgeous here Beautiful. today. Perfect conditions, but you and I both know sometimes it's state. It's not always yes, that sir. way. How do you prepare your team to battle the elements if they come up? We don't have to prepare much. We, we don't get to play in good weather very often. In Lovington, it's always windy. Um, and so we're, we're prepared for that wind. Um, we talk all the time about adversity and how we handle it. And so the weather can't be something that we're focused on. We just got to focus on our game. All right. Well, good luck this week and good luck at State. Thank you, JV. All right. We'll be back with more game time after this. Are you living the life of an athlete? The New Mexico Activities Association brings you Life of an Athlete, a resource for students, educators, and parents to understand the challenges students face. Athletes, one night of drinking will negatively affect your athletic performance for two weeks, and athletes who drink or do drugs are twice as likely to get injured. Alcohol's effects can reduce a high school athlete's potential by as much as 20 to 30 percent. Are you living the life of an athlete? Log on to the website to find out today. In life, things aren't scripted. If you're an athlete, we need people like you and translate those skills to officiate. You can get a lot out of it. It happens in every town, in every game. We never have a perfect game, but the rewards always outweigh the negativities.
I'm Bailey Alexander from Levington High School. Welcome back to Game Time. Welcome back to Game Time, presented this week by the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and NECA. The 4A preview took place right here at this course, the Santa Ana Golf Club, spotlighting some of the top golfers in Class 4A. Here's a look at some of the highlights. Welcome back to Game Time, presented this week by the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and NECA. You know, for several student athletes, just being able to play is what drives them every day. Volcano Vista outfielder Cade Weber fits that description. He loves the game of baseball, but it has been a challenge for him to stay out there on the field and be able to compete. From a distance, Cade Weber looks like just another high school baseball player getting in a weekday workout with the Volcano Vista Hawks. But what he's overcome to get to this point is truly remarkable. It was touch and go. I mean, he's, he was born healthy, but he came home jaundiced. And at eight months, he had a liver transplant, which is crazy. Cade was diagnosed with biliary atresia, a blockage of the tubes that carry bile from the liver. Think back to how sick he was back then and thinking this is going to be a lifelong thing because they were talking about potential brain damage and, and muscular issues came through it just fine. And for 15 years, it was great. Everything's sailing, sailing along just fine. And then he's just the last few years, uh, things kind of unraveled a little bit. His freshman year, it got serious here. There was just like a huge buildup of bile and it just kind of, you know, just made me super sick. An artery feeding the liver was about to burst. Cade went through three major surgeries over seven trips back and forth to California. I tell you, there's some, there were some long days in Palo Alto where it just weren't sure what the future had for him. They put in these things called like, was it like bowel drains? They uh, went in there, it was like a long procedure just to drain out all that like crap that was in my stomach. So, and they like attached these big old bags. So there's that and uh, yeah, so that sucked. Well, when I had all those bile salts in my skin, I got really itchy, uh, just nothing but just constant itching. And there's nothing you can do about it because it's like in your blood. Like, I, I still got scars like on my feet and like some on my hands from it. So that was, that was by far the worst part, for sure. To wake up every day and that poor kid's just scratching him. He looked like he'd gotten in a fight with a cactus. He was just, he had scars all over his body. With few people knowing about his condition and what he was going through, Cade found a way to work his way back onto the field. But having bio bags attached to his abdomen was sometimes a challenge. It was like one of my first games back and uh, they tried to back pick me a second. I slid into first. I actually ended up pulling part of it out, and I had to go and like have a whole new procedure just to put that back in. It was just pretty painful, but I was safe, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Cade's gained weight, works out every day, and for the first time in his life, is perfectly healthy. I'm good. Yeah, I'm perfectly healthy. I got to take like just like a little bit of medicine just to prevent that from happening in the future. But other than that, you know, I'm, I go to the gym every day. I'm out here every day. Everything is nice and fine. He's a tough kid. Um, you never want to see any of any kid go through that, much less an athlete or somebody that you have a personal connection to. And uh, you know, he's he's worked his tail off. He's he's worked his way back. He goes out there and does his business. And I, I can't ask for anything more or, or be more proud of a, a kid like that. To see him out here, just to run around and be healthy and happy, it oh, means the world to me. It means the world to our family. As if just getting back on the field isn't enough, the story gets even better. 
Eastern New Mexico University extended Cade an offer as a preferred walk-on with their baseball team. To have Eastern New Mexico offer him a walk-on was just an incredible moment. It was such an emotional thing for him and to see that it's an opportunity for him to just further his education and get a chance to play baseball at the next level. It's just, it's a dream come true. You know, people go through a lot worse. You know, I'm, I'm one of the fortunate ones and, um, you know, like, yeah, it sucks, but I, it definitely could have gone a lot worse and I'm just happy to be where I am today, nice and healthy. Like, not a lot of people can, you know, end out like that. Just last week, there was a day that was specifically marked on the calendar for the Weber family. April 27th, an anniversary of sorts. That was the day Cade received his liver transplant when he was just eight months old. We're happy that Cade is back on the field competing and healthy. Hi, I'm Bailey Jarrett from Lovington High School. We'll be back for more game time after this. Are you an enthusiastic sports fan? Want to have fun and get in on the action? Heck yes, that'd be awesome. Have great attention to detail. Want to stay active? Definitely. Want to give back to the student athletes in your community? Obviously, yes. Then you'd make an excellent high school sports official. We need more officials across the country because with no high school officials, there are no high school sports. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. The New Mexico Activities Association is excited to announce the NMAA 24-7 mobile app. Whether you're a student, coach, parent, or player, you can have the power of the NMAA right in the palm of your hand. Find scores and schedules, follow your favorite teams, receive special offers from NMAA sponsors, get state championship information, highlights, features, and much more. Download the free NMAA 24-7 mobile app in the App Store or Google Play. Get it now. Hey, I'm Little Orozco. I'm from Lemonton, New Mexico. Let's check out the latest baseball and softball polls. Hi, my name is Len Trevino from Lovington High School. Welcome back to Game Time. Welcome back to Game Time, presented this week by the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and NECA. The state track and field championships will be here in just a couple of weeks. And last week, Albuquerque Academy hosted the annual Harper Invitational, spotlighting some of the top track talent all around the state. Here are some of the highlights. That's going to do it for another episode of Game Time, presented this week by the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers and NECA. Thanks for tuning in this week. Make sure you tune in next week. You never know who we're going to talk to, where we're going to end up, but you do know the place to find the most high school highlights. It's right here. We'll see you next time on Game Time. <laughs>